tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the overview for FedEx Ship Manager. Um, this is the official software. It is an offline product for FedEx, ship, uh, for FedEx shipping. Um, through this software you can do multiple options. Uh, you can process uh, domestic shipment, you can do international, single piece, multi piece, so on and so forth. Uh, it has good feature you can monitor and manage shipment activities across the board uh, for one or multiple accounts uh, you can set up a shipping default module for yourself and uh, and set up a controls as well um, you can create shipment profiles uh, to accelerate accelerate your shipping uh, process you can create add and editing uh, customized reports uh, you can uh, also do the shipment notification as well so today we're gonna just give it to you the overview about the software um, how to download it um, you can go to um, fedex.com you can go to Google and uh, type FedEx ship manager download okay so uh, you'll go to this page and uh, I'll give it to you the uh, the link or you can download it however um, if you have any issues or if you need any uh, any any technical support information you can go to or call one internet go FedEx okay so let's get it started this is the main page when you open the FedEx ship manager this is the main page on the left hand side you're gonna see a recipient information uh, this is the main page for shipping uh, in both cases uh, for domestic and international for express and ground uh, you need this main page uh, or, and you have to enter the uh, shipment details okay uh, ship to a group first let's see the recipient information on the left hand side on the top uh, underneath there's an option called ship to group if you click on this this window will, will open and uh, and it'll give it to the detailed description like this checkbox to send the same type of shipment to more than one recipient from your address book so make sure your address book, book is populated right here uh, your address book is located on the top of the tab if you click on that it will it will open the uh, the address book uh, section here's the address book you can add uh, you can save also recipient while you're shipping so this is the ship to group include written shipment labels so if you put the check on the on this uh, checkbox system will print two labels one is outbound the other one is the should be the uh, inbound shipment if you click on hold just click on that and you can see on the right hand side uh, the ship button will turn into hold um, and that shipment will hold it won't print the label until uh, you go to the uh, shipping list on the top and go to the whole file here's a whole file and it will hold all your ship to data okay and then then you can start ship directly from there if you missing any piece of data for example like you don't know the the packet dimensions so you can put the shipment um, that package into your whole file and then you can go back later on and process it uh, so it won't uh, it won't disturb your current shipping process okay okay uncheck this this ship button will be lit up on uh, again so recipient ID this is the ID where you're gonna enter the data in there um, and then um, these are the required fields you're gonna enter underneath there's a sender information uh, you can create multiple senders and then you can create multiple returns addresses as well on the right hand side you're gonna enter you're gonna see like this is called a packet and shipment details number of packages you would enter uh, weight um, you're gonna enter the weight um, this could be an estimated weight or if you have a scale you can just click on here and you can configure the scale um, if you have a USB just select the USB scale and you can run the test from here so you can read the scale uh, service type as soon as you enter the the weight the service type option will be lit up and you can select either is a ground express or express freight We'll talk about it later on. I'll show you how to process single piece and the multi piece. Identical packages being on the top means um, two identical or more than two, one package or packages are going out with the, with the identical weight, 
identical dimension uh, so on and so forth uh, package type if you have a ground it will you're gonna select the uh, your package uh, if it express you can select you know, uh, appropriate uh, package type dimensions are not required uh, but you can enter it declare value is uh, every package is covered for hundred dollars so you can enter it if you have more than hundred dollars but you're gonna see the extra search charge for that underneath there's a called billing details uh, you can select right here uh, bill to sender uh, or uh, bill to recipient uh, collect or uh, third party the other reference fields department knows customer reference PO number invoice number and shipment ID but these are not required only bold letters are required. if you click on wait new window will pop up and, and you can read the description on it from the help section now on the first second tab it's called the options you're gonna see all the options associated with this sh according to the shipment and as soon as you're gonna enter the zip code you're gonna see all the special services uh, options so either you can click on this tab or you can just click here I'll show you later on when we're gonna process the actual shipment for testing if you click on ship alerts you can enter the sender email so your own email so you're going to receive shipment notification, tender, exception, delivery, or, or estimated delivery notification. Same thing as the recipient. If you click on that and click on shipment notification, system will send out an email uh, to the customer, to your customer, and will give it to them online your detail about the package, tracking number, so on and so forth. Return shipment. If you select that option, select international to, uh, for example, to China or Canada and you can see some additional option on the package detail type you can see document or commodities I'll uh, you can see some more tabs added on the top just click on commodity listing so uh, you can uh, enter the commodity or you can save it with the, with the unique commodity ID so you don't have to retype it in again and then click on add to the shipment at the bottom right here and system will add shipment uh, contents right here on the on the right hand side commodity contents customs you know, there's the two options either you can do uh, you can print FedEx commercial invoice or you can uh, do your own commercial commercial invoice if you click on FedEx commercial invoice you also have an option called ETD uh, called uh, electronic trade document so you don't need to print commercial invoices actually so uh, commercial invoice uh, will print it actually within the label okay uh, but you can also also have an option where you can print number of commercial invoice copies is the option where you can add it uh, uh, the images uh, into JPEG or PNG file format okay um, so this is the other domestic international um, I'll uh, when I'm gonna process I'll set up a uh, separate tutorial for domestic and international so you can review those. LTL. So before you adding the LTL module enabled, you have to go to the databases and add LTL account information. If you click on here, you need to add account number, shipping details, shipping address, shipping from, and billing address. These are really important actually. Just make sure. Uh, if you have any issues, just call one issue, go FedEx, uh, and then uh, they can help you out. If you don't know what is the on file addresses, you can add multiple accounts. If you click on add another one, you can do that, right? But you have to do that uh, first, at least adding one account number. Tracking. If you click on track, you can have multiple options track by reference number or, or uh, by track from ship history. And then you're gonna see the track results. Uh, the first tab, uh, track by reference number. You can enter the tracking number. Click on Add, and it will add that tracking number into this into this uh, grid option. And just click on Track, and then you're gonna see the track results. If you don't know the tracking number, you can go to the tracking ship history. You can have a ship uh, history. You can sort it by the start date. And end date range click on search for shipment you can see all your shipping history and then you can track but you have to track one by one 
shipping list you're gonna see all your domestic shipment international uh, whole file the one we talked about earlier return shipment and you can see also LTL shipment here and the ship history address book tab it will hold all your address books information you can add new one from here uh, and then you can but you have to provide all the required fields recipient ID would be a unique one so uh, if you uh, if you did not enter it uh, system won't save it okay you see that is you have to enter the recipient code which is right here I want to cancel it reports FedEx ship manager offers you multiple kind of reports so if you see on the top closely these are the COD reports uh, cash and delivery commodity reports uh, courtesy rate code reports uh, you can also the most common people use courtesy ship detail report you can also s sort the report with the start date range and the end date range right here smart code ground express invoice number you can sort it uh, multi MPS like means multi piece shipment reports. You can go to ship detail report uh, and you can sort it as I said according to date if you want it, the date range. If you say give me the detail report from April 1st till April 19th and you click on the screen, you can save it. You can also save it as a desktop. If you click on C on backslash uh, reports tab. For example, um, you can save the reports into that folder, but you have to create a folder first. So you can save it into that. And then you just click on save file and the system will save it. Close end of the shipping day, just click on uh, end your ship day and system will close it. It is required for ground and express and LTL, smart post, everything. FedEx.com tab. Just click on that and system will take you to FedEx.com official site where you can do tracking, you can run the invoice or you can log into FedEx.com. So that's all it is. Um, if you have any question or comments, feel free to send me a comments. I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. Thank you very much and have a good day.